Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Heather B. Nice, known to you from heatherbnice.com and Nice Radio. And today, I want to give you guys the exclusive interview with someone uh, that I know from back in the day a little bit and who's got some very, very close and intimate ties with someone you guys know from Bad Boy Records, Letitia, a.k.a. Hustle Bunny. Hey, Heather, be nice. What it do? How are you? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing great. Blessed, highly favored. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. No problem. I thank you for allowing us this exclusive. Definitely. Always, always, always got to run with the positive. You know, I, I just really appreciate people wanting to hear, you know, the story and the journey it means a lot to us absolutely and it means a lot to me to deliver news the nice way <laughs> you all know that's the <laughs> slogan so absolutely so letitia miss hustle bunny we're gonna call you miss bunny oh, hb baby hb all right <laughs> so um just real quick you guys i'm gonna let you know uh me and miss hb cross paths um we were both working for another indie media company out of new york um and and kind of just stayed in touch with each with each other we are both very positive bloggers and we like to deliver the news and give you guys a scoop on the hip-hop industry and then i'll let miss hustle bunny um explain further what she does because this girl got so many titles under her belt i can't even keep up oh my goodness um well, the name is not a get gimmick, Hustle Bunny. <laughs> um, I've been in the industry for um, quite some time now, since 99. I started as an artist, a uh, hip-hop artist. I'm an MC. I will always be an MC. Hip-hop is my life. Um, I have done radio, had a radio show in the Bronx at um, the Matrix Studio Network. Shout out to them, called The Original Hustlers and Heels. And it was kind of an indie radio um for the artists to have a platform and icons because a lot of times often the icons get left behind or people think that they're not doing anything with their career because they don't see them on the big screen so my, my goal was just to bring knowledge to people that just because you see some you don't see someone doesn't mean that they're still not doing what they need to do so i try to bridge that gap to bring some of the greats on my show to help independent artists understand what the business is about um i've had master ace lord finesse um mario winans little c's um i think my most memorable was big pun son chris rivers and um he's very intelligent wise young man um but i had chi ali my son jazzo granddaddy iu you name it i tried to get him there um because i wanted to pay homage so i did a little bit of radio um red carpet interviewing um i wanted to see the other side of the industry as opposed to being an artist um i wanted to remain indie um my sister is a mill she was signed to rockefeller back in 1999-2000 and um i learned a lot from that situation um and so um i'm all indie i'm all for the indie artists um currently right now i help i'm like the go-to person um i don't take no for answer so i'm working for um tragedy Gaddafi. i've done some work for drag on um let me see who else over the past recent drag on tragedy um az phase on um you know yeah 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 so i do blogging i'm a published writer i was writing for feds magazine um i do public relations work I, every I, I do everything because i manage my own career so i learn from some of the best and you know just continue to maintain a positive outlook when it came to music and now i enjoy helping artists get to that next plateau amen and that's what brings you and i so close together hustle absolutely because, you know, I, i'm trying to bridge the same gap for for artists you're on the east coast i'm on the west coast we both reach across the states to help out the next you know indie artists and try and keep people in the forefront